You know, I like oh that God. advice she gave where she's like, you know, feel free. It's okay to leave them alone. Yeah, that's okay. precisely what I would do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something else you got to worry about. We got the cicadas, mayflies, and all this. Now we got to worry about these spiders, man. I mean, yeah, geez, crazy, can we catch? Crazy looking thing, there. Exactly. Well, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the spiders, but uh, are you a big fan of these nice mild temperatures we got for this afternoon? But... We have some clouds rolling in as well, so uh, that's going to translate to our next best chance of showers. But for this evening, again, I stress it's Saturday, Saturday evening. Take advantage of it, although you will not need the sunglasses because right now we just took a live look outdoors. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies and clouds are going to be increasing throughout the evening. But if you're going to be out late, late, <laughs> I mean, you're going to need those uh, rain. Uh, you're going to need their umbrellas with our next inbound cold front, giving us another shot of cooler air. But the 80s, if you're looking for the poor weather, that's going to be returning eventually deeper in my seven day forecast for this evening. We're going to be holding steady in the low 70s, upper 60s. And here comes the rain. And I'm thinking likely as we head deeper into the overnight, I'm thinking after midnight as we have our next inbound cold front. So here the clouds rolling in throughout the past couple of hours, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies across more, much of northeast Ohio and up to the north and west. We're tracking our next inbound cold front, a significant significant swath of light to moderate showers rolling across Lake Michigan and Lake Huron and that's going to be diving closer to our parts as we head throughout the next six to seven hours or so and also bringing another punch of cooler temperatures so we're going to finish out this weekend with unseasonal cool temperatures to follow. Let's talk about the rain. It's going to be rotating in our direction as we head deeper into the evening uh, overnight hours. Then it's going to bring another pot punch of cooler air, not only for tomorrow, right into Monday, another reinforcing shot of cooler temperatures. So it's going to be a hard time for us to approach the 70 degree mark. Let's time out the rain chance and more detail to the forecast with your national design Mart hourly forecast. This is six, seven o'clock, all clear. Rain is will be arriving as we hit closer to midnight, one, two and three o'clock. Just scattered widespread chances of showers. The north breeze kicks in behind all this. We start off in the upper to mid 50s around daybreak Sunday. Then throughout the afternoon, here's lunchtime, a northwest wind upper 60s, low 70s, mid 70s. Daytime heating could pop up a few showers around this time around four and five o'clock, then partly cloudy skies and off to a cool start for your work week. How much rainfall we're talking about? Not a lot, maybe upwards to a tenth of inch rainfall if we're lucky. This is going to be a quick moving storm system. We have about a 20% chance again, mainly in the morning for tomorrow, then again throughout the afternoon for Monday, but mainly most of next week will be dry as we take a look at your Medina Country Club seven day outlook. Mid 60s for your Monday. That's not poor weather. Upper 60s for your Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies for your Wednesday. Thursday is looking quiet. Mid 80s. There we go. Low 80s for this time next weekend as we get closer to Friday. Another chance of showers and thunderstorms.